When you think about February, you probably are thinking about Valentine's Day. And that means chocolate. So how about try this galette, which is a French dessert and it's an open faced pie. And it's way easier to make an actual pie. So this no fail pie is sure to impress. And the most difficult part of this dessert is to remember to defrost that puff pastry in your fridge. And most likely you will get a rectangular portion of puff pastry. So just cut that into a circle. I just used this bowl that I had. It's roughly nine inches in diameter. It's just shy of it. And you don't have to throw away the scrap. Um, I just reused it later on. Kind of like piece it together and form it into its own triangle and bake it in something else. So you can use a bowl to cut it into a circle or if you are feeling ambitious, take a knife and freestyle it. Spread some Nutella right down the middle. Now, of course, if you want, you don't have to put just Nutella, you can get creative with it. You can add Nutella along with some peanut butter, maybe some jam as well. Make it like a, um, a fun play on PB&J sandwich and just make a swirl around the middle. But remember to like not go all the way to the edge, leave about an inch, inch and a half of gap so that you can fold the pie at the end. Then thinly slice up banana and arrange it in whatever order you see fit. I just went in circles and then I just dressed it up with some raspberries. They are my favorite kind of berries, if you are wondering. And after that comes blackberries then blueberries and strawberries. I avoid if I can, I just don't like the sourness that is sometimes there, but I don't hate it. Then you know those edges that we left untouched? Well, start folding them and you're basically just creating pleats all around. It's gonna look something like this and it's very similar actually to my open-faced apple pie from not too long ago. Once you have that, take an egg, put a touch of water in there, but quarter to a half teaspoon and then whisk it up for your egg wash. Don't add too much, don't add too little. It adds color and it looks great. And then finally, just sprinkle on some brown sugar along the edges. It's gonna caramelize, it's gonna melt and it's gonna add a bit of crunch along with the amazing flakiness that you're gonna get after the puff pastry is done baking and cooling slightly. That's gonna go in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. And once the edges are golden brown and it's nice and puffy, then you know that it is ready. Let it cool down slightly. The puff pastry can be quite delicate and it's gonna be much easier and less messy to slice it if you wanna serve it like a, a dessert pizza essentially once it has cooled down slightly. But this is all for you to enjoy and make your night awesome. I'll see you on the next one.